Hello everyone, and welcome back to Truly Tetracious with me, Alex. Today I'm playing a game, quite an old game for the Game Boy Color. It is my all-time favourite game of all time, and it is Dragon Warrior Monsters. In two th made in 2000, well, published in 2000. So what, that would make me four when it came out? Yeah. Anyway. Dragon Warrior Monsters is a little bit similar to Pokemon, but uh, quite different from like the sort of execution mechanics of it. For example, in Pokemon modes you would catch Pokemon with Pokeballs. In Dragon Warrior Monsters, you would use a various selection of meats to tame the monsters and get them to follow you. In addition to this, the breeding mechanics, well, the, the breeding is pretty much a big part of the game. Without breeding, this game becomes pretty impossible to complete. So, without further ado, I'm going to move my mouse away, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to start playing this game. So it starts in a house, of course, with my parents away, and I'm left home alone with my sister. Terry, wait! It's time for bed! Do you forget what Mum and Dad told us? Step too late and you'll be carried away by the monsters! What? You want to meet the monsters? Don't be silly! Go to bed. So, the strange thing about this game is when you're younger, you're told that monsters don't exist. You know, you, you'll sort of be told that there's nothing under your bed, nothing hiding in your wardrobe, and there's nothing hiding in your drawer. Well, enter this game where, uh, where, boom, a monster comes out of my drawer. So, there. He's looking for my sister, of course, as well. So he says, huh, is your name Milieu? Hmm, you don't look like her. Milieu is a girl. Your name is Terry. Ugh, you're not the one. I'm Waribu from the Kingdom of Greatlock. Don't you forget it. So, this monster has come into my house and kidnapped my sister. She is brilliant. He has taken her into a drawer, which is hmm, strange. Because generally, drawers don't have any things in them, do they? Hmm. Okay. Huh? What happened? Where's Melu? Ah, you speak monster talk, don't you? Where's Milieu? Taken away? Oh no, I was too late. Waraboo? No, I'm not Waraboo, I'm Wataboo. What? You want to know where your sister is? Well, follow me. Maybe you can find her. I hope you're a skilled monster. Oh, you don't understand what I'm on about, do you? Well, find out if you follow me. Poor, poor uh, Wadaboo. He's got to be the most exasperated monster in this game. He sort of goes, oh, oh I need to take this, uh, this person from this house to win the tournament of the Starry Night. Instead, I get this little kid who's probably, what, no older than 10, to try and win a tournament against the finest masters of the land. Hmm. Okay, I can automatically see a problem with that. But I'm going to go with it anyway. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. So, yes, of course, Wadaboo is the most exasperated monster in this game. <laughs> but, yes, you know. <laughs> so, as you can see, this storyline is insane. The, I mean, the imagination that must have... You know, I say imagination. Some people, the game devs obviously got very high when they were making this game. <laughs> oh, you must be the new master. Oh, you must have had a long trip. What? You don't know where you are. You're in the kingdom of Great Tree, silly. What have we brought you here? Let's get going. We have to pay our respects to the king of the castle. So in this game, the... They built their castles, and, well, they're, they're, okay, kings built their kingdoms. So in this game, 
kings built their kingdoms inside trees. Big trees. And naturally in this game, they put the shrine at the bottom and the castle at the top. Hey, is he the new master? What have we brought here? Yes, I'm taking him indeed to meet see the king. Good luck at the Starry Night Tournament. Now it's time to go see the king. I'm the minister of this kingdom. I'm a bit pathetic. Are you the new master? His majesty would have a favour to ask you. Please comply with his request. Okay, so we have all these sort of guards here. And they tell me obvious things, like this is the castle of Great Tree. And, uh... That I need to listen to the king's wish. And now, if you didn't think my, my voice was posh enough, just wait till you hear my voice for the king. <laughs> Welcome! I am the king of this kingdom. Identify yourself, my child. Uh, my name is Alex, so I'm gonna call the master Alex today. It's absolutely okay. Oh, Alex, will you comply with my wish? My wish is but for you to participate and win the tournament of the Starry Night. I mean, that's quite a big ask, but, uh... What? Oh, you say you'd rather find your kidnapped sister. Oh, did you come here to comply with my request? Hmm, hmm, hmm. However, there is an easier way of searching for her. Win the tournament of the Starry Night! Legend has it that the one who is victorious in the Tournament of the Starry Night will be granted a wish. Your wish to find your sister will be granted. That way we both win. Meanwhile, search for your sister while you prepare for the tournament. Here, I shall give you some monsters. Without any monsters, you will not be able to serve as a master. The monster farm is on the upper level. Go and ask Julio for your monsters. So I'm going to go and ask Julio for my monsters, who I assume is upstairs. So here we have it, a Draki monster, a slime monster. Hey you, come here to steal my monsters. I have. Come on, I'll be... Oh. Oh, you must be the monster master. I know your sound. Apparently I have a, a smell, even though I was technically dragged along here by some weird sheep creature. You have the makers of a great master. I'm Pulio. I take care of this farm. I heard about you from the king. Take your monsters. Well, actually, I only have one monster. An old one. It slipped. It was my favorite of... It was the favorite of our last king. Choose a pickup option to take your monster. So I'll take Slip, uh, who is probably the worst monster in this game. Oh, this monster is the former kings! Alex, why did you adopt such that monster? Uh, see, only one left. Oh, that Pulio. He must have let the others escape. Oh, Pulio, Pulio, bring Pulio here. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Pulio, did you let Hell escape as well? Your Majesty, please forgive me. Hell escape too. Ah, uh, uh, you must let my precious Hell escape too. This is unforgivable. Throw me in the dungeon. What? Alex? Oh, you have something to say. Oh, what is it? Oh, you will catch Hell and free Pulio. Oh, you say you will catch Hell. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Well, you may try, Alex. Majesty, hell escape from the Traveler's Gates. I see out now. Alex, proceed to the. Tr oh, I've gone the wrong voice. Uh, bring your monster back. Your treasure chest in the next room is now yours. Ask the minister about it. Well, you're dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> I 
So yes, this was the first episode of Dragon Warrior Monsters. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and join me next time where I'll be taking on the Traveler's Gates and trying to get Hale back. Ta-ra.